Apparently, that local woman fulfilled her prophecy because she is in jail for allegedly doing this, setting her estranged husband's house on fire. Now, luckily, he was not home, and it was all caught on video. Also, apparently, the two are going through a divorce, if you couldn't tell from that set of circumstances yeah. there. Cassie Foote spoke to him today and also saw the serious damage the fire left behind. Cassie? Well, it was really a helpless nightmare for Dean Sander. He was out of town this past weekend, watching everything unfold on the security cameras at his home. He says his estranged wife, Angela Sander, who also goes by Angela Johns, first showed up at his house with a friend Sunday morning. But within 12 hours, video shows her coming back multiple times, destroying property. The final time, Dean says he watched as she lit his home on fire. Hey, Dean, I know you're watching this. I want my car. I want my personal property. And because you've decided not to give it to me, we're going to have a problem. This is allegedly Angela Sander at her soon-to-be ex-husband's Northwest Albuquerque home. Security cameras and someone with her recorded it all. I know everyone in the f***ing media. Good luck. Dean Sander wasn't home and watched Angela's escalating outburst states away through those security cameras. Ultimately, it ended like this with his garage on fire. It was horrible because there was nothing I could do. The saga started Sunday morning when Dean says he got a security system alert and saw Angela at his door. I've been storing her car in my garage and she was demanding it back and everything else. Well, of course, I'm out of town, really couldn't do anything about it. So um, and no way to contact her. Dean called the police. They showed up, but Angela was gone. But then video shows her returning later the same day. She left again, but apparently she didn't stay away. Came back, I think around seven or eight o'clock at night, drove her car through my garage door, breaking it open. But Dean says the final video from Sunday is the one that landed his estranged wife in jail. Comes back about a half hour later, is out here ranting and raving and screaming, uh, takes a couple cans of gasoline into the garage and uh, dumps it and lights everything on fire. Here is video from a camera on the front of his house. It shows someone walking away from the garage. Smoke and flames. Then the camera dies. Dean watched it live on a plane before taking off for a three hour flight back to Albuquerque. Is that the longest flight of your life? Uh, I have flown around the world. I have traveled the world and this was the toughest flight I've ever been on. His last call before losing cell service was to his neighbor. Her home is connected to his. I was telling my neighbor to get out because she was going to die. So anyway. Firefighters knocked down the flames by the time Dean got home, but the damage was done. Two cars in the garage destroyed, including Angela's. She was here screaming, I want my car, I want my car, but she didn't show up to get the car, she came here to torch the house. Dean says he and Angela hadn't spoken for about a year. He had a restraining order against her. It expired in January. Now, Angela's in jail, but that's not giving Dean much peace. If she gets released, I'm, I'm terrified. I, I, I won't lie to you. Um, I can protect myself and I'll protect everybody I can, but it, you know, if she's out and she's already done this and shows little or no regard for anybody, I don't know. Angela Sander is facing three felony charges, including arson, aggravated burglary, and criminal damage to property. She's expected to be in court Friday. Tessa Trevor. As awful as it is, fortunately, nobody was hurt, especially with yeah, someone living next door. Yeah. All right, Cassie, thanks.